What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today I'm taking a look at the future of Bayern. Now, just like the other videos that I've been doing in this Future Of series, I haven't used player training whatsoever for the purposes of this video. I've simply simmed forward to 2021, and I have of course signed players throughout the five seasons, so there will be a few new faces in the squads, and if you're enjoying these Future Of videos, please do smash that like button, and if you're new around here, also hit the subscribe button whilst you're at it. I'm posting career mode content most days, and if you want to see more future of videos and career mode content, then I'd definitely recommend subscribing. Another thing that I'd recommend doing is checking out Jay Yakers. He's got a Bayern Munich career mode series on the go on his channel, and if you want to see a Bayern Munich career mode series, he is definitely a very good YouTuber to check out. Awesome guy, brilliant career mode YouTuber, his link will be in the description. One more thing before I get into the squad report, if you click on the I in the top right hand corner of your screen, you'll be able to vote for the next team that I do in this Future Of series. Anyway though, let's get into the squad report and let's take a look at the future of the Bayern squad. First of all then we've got Manuel Neuer and he is now 90 rated at the age of 35. He became unhappy at the club in Season 4 and I swapped him across to Bayer Leverkusen for Bernd Leno, brought him back in this 5th season and he got a 7.1 average in 48 appearances. As I say, he's on the decline now but he is 35 years old and as you can see there, his stats are dropping off massively. Donnarumma is up to an 84 rating now, has potential of 88 but he did improve by 8 ratings to hit an 84 rating and he was only the backup goalkeeper, so without player training, it was going to be very difficult for him to hit an 88. Sven Ulreich is 77 rated at the age of 32. Tin Yedvai is up to an 86 rating now, has potential of 85, so he was able to outgrow that in this fifth season, and his stats look absolutely brilliant. 99 heading accuracy, 90 marking, 83 acceleration, 76 sprint speed, 87 jumping, looks like a fantastic player, 96 stand tackling, 87 slide tackling, and he got a 7.0 average. Ezekiel Cuomo is a young Italian right back that I brought into the club, 73 rated at the age of 20, and he has some very good stats on him. Whilst Philip Lahm is now down to a 71 rating. He's 37 years old and decided that he'll retire at the end of the season. He's now only got 25 pace and his physical game has dropped off massively. Hummels has kept his 87 rating and still looks like an absolutely fantastic centre-back. Jerome Boateng is still 90 rated at the age of 32. Once again, very solid centre-back. And I also brought in Jonathan Tarr, 87 rated at the age of 25. Has potential of 88, so didn't quite hit that, but does have some absolutely incredible stats on him, and he would be a very good player to use in the game. Tim Luther is a young German centre-back that I brought into the club from Stuttgart, and he looks like a very good player for the future. Whilst Richard Gerezger, Gerezger, I don't know how you say that, anyway, 78 rated at the age of 21, he's very quick. And he's also six foot four, so absolutely cracking centre back, and he would be a fantastic player to use. Felix Gerzer has potential of 72, went up by nine ratings though, and he is now 68 rated at the age of 23. Bat Stuber is still 79 rated at 32. Martinez is 85 rated at 32. Bonatia is on the decline now, down to an 80 rating. Alaba smashed right up to his full potential of 90, and just look at all of those green stats. Such a fantastic left back, 7.1 average rating, 4 goals, 4 assists, and he just looks absolutely brilliant to be honest. Bernat hit his full potential as well, 83 rated at 28, and he's a very solid backup player. Nicholas Dorsch is 71 rated at 23, he has potential of 78, but he did go up by 12 ratings, and... Looks like a pretty decent young player. Kuipers is the Robin regen, 76 rated at the age of 20. Doesn't have the best of stats though, low low work rates, 1 star weak foot and only 3 star skills as well. So not great but there you go, he is Robin's regen and I did bring him back to Bayern Munich. Julian Green is 74 rated at the age of 26, has potential of 75 so didn't quite hit that but still a decent player and is a 74 rating now. 
Kimmich went right up to an 89 rating, has potential of 88, so went beyond that, and his stats just look absolutely insane. 11 goals in 50 appearances, he looks absolutely brilliant. Renato Sanchez also managed to get to his full potential, didn't go beyond it like Kimmich did, but still, 90 rated at the age of 23, not too bad at all, 7 goals in 31 appearances, and again, just look at those green stats. Tony Kroos is now on the decline. He's down to an 88 rating at the age of 31. Jao Mario is 88 rated at 28 and he looks absolutely fantastic. 11 goals and 14 assists in 49 appearances. Thiago is 87 rated at the age of 30. He's on the decline now and that is very disappointing to see. Galdino is 81 rated at the age of 24. Didn't quite hit his full potential of 82 but does have some decent stats there, including 99 dribbling, 93 short passing, and 85 long passing. Some of his stats are a bit dodgy, but others are absolutely ridiculous, and he scored two goals in three appearances. Vidal is on the decline. He's down to a 79 rating now at the age of 34. Ozturk is up to a 68 rating, potential of 70, but he did go up by 10 ratings. Douglas Costa is on the decline at the age of 30. He's now down to an 84 rating. Mark Antoine Magnon is the Rebury regen. 79 rated at the age of 20. 5 goals in 18 appearances. And looks like a very good young player. And I was watching the Liverpool Manchester United game whilst I was recording this video. And that therefore influenced my decision to purchase Philip Coutinho. 90 rated now at the age of 29. Has potential of 89, so he was able to go beyond that, and he just looks absolutely ridiculous. Such a good player in real life, very good in the game as well, and he scored 9 goals in 22 appearances. Fabian Benko is 75 rated at the age of 23. He has potential of 79, but he went up by 14 ratings to hit a 75, so not bad at all, and some of his stats are very nice indeed. Thomas Muller is now on the decline and he's 87 rated at the age of 31. Messi is 85 rated at the age of 33 and some of his stats have been hit massively. His acceleration is down by 23, his sprint speed went down by 32 and his agility went down by 49. He starts out with 90 agility and that has now dropped off to 41. By contrast though, his balance only went down by 6. Starts out as 95 balance, is still 89 so that's not too bad at all and his technical stats are still pretty brilliant to be honest and he scored 12 goals in 35 appearances with a 7.2 average rating which for an 85 rated player is pretty brilliant. He's not quite the player he was but he's still pretty decent. And Gael Correa has potential of 88 but he was able to go well beyond that and scored 37 goals in 45 appearances with a 7.8 average rating. What an absolutely ridiculous player. And just look at those stats. Absolutely brilliant. 99 ball control, 97 dribbling, 89 finishing, 97 shot power, 97 volleys, 87 curve, 92 long shots. Some pretty impressive physical stats as well. And he just looks like an absolute beast. Lewandowski is on the decline now, he's down to an 86 rating at the age of 32 and only scored 3 goals in 15 appearances. And then finally we've got Kingsley Coman, didn't quite hit an 88 rating but he did get to an 87, 11 goals and 10 assists in 39 appearances, 99 pace, 99 agility and to be honest he looks absolutely phenomenal. Time to take a look at what the team was able to achieve in these 5 seasons now then. And no pressure or anything, but in FIFA 16 I had a buying career mode series and I won both the Bundesliga and the Champions League five years in a row. And this team got off to a pretty decent start as they did win both the Bundesliga and the Champions League, but unfortunately for them, Cologne won the DFB Pokal and they weren't able to secure the treble. Koeman was the top goalscorer with 20 goals, Thomas Muller got the most assists with 19, and in terms of the league table, Bayer Leverkusen came second, Dortmund came third, and Cologne came fourth. And in the second season, the board once again expected the team to win the treble, and this time, the team well and truly delivered. 
Lewandowski was the top goal scorer with 26 goals, Kroos and Alaba both provided 12 assists, and over in the Europa League, Liverpool beat Everton 1-0 in the final. In the first season Manchester United won it, so this tournament has been dominated by English teams so far. Liverpool and Manchester United have both won the Europa League, but the Champions League has so far been dominated by Bayern. We've won it two seasons in a row, and we've also won the Bundesliga twice in a row as well. And in terms of the Bundesliga, Bayer Leverkusen came second, Dortmund came third, and Hamburg finished in fourth. It all went a bit wrong in this third season though. Messi was brought into the club on a pre-contract, so the team was stronger than ever, but they were only able to win the Bundesliga. Messi scored the most goals with 20, Muller had the most assists with 15, Atletico Madrid won the Champions League, Bayer Leverkusen won the Europa League, and Schalke won the DFB Pokal. Bayern did of course win the Bundesliga, with Dortmund finishing second, Leverkusen third, and Wolfsburg coming in fourth. In the fourth season though, the team got back to treble winning ways, with Messi as the top goalscorer once again with 22, and Müller providing 14 assists. Manchester United once again won the Europa League, and the top four in Germany consisted of Bayern, Leverkusen, Dortmund and Hoffenheim. And in the fifth season, Bayern Munich were once again able to win the Bundesliga title, with Correa scoring the most goals, Jao Mario providing the most assists, and Bernd Leno keeping the most clean sheets. The team was also able to secure the DFB Pokal, as they beat Schalke 2-1 in the final. Bayern beat Manchester United 2-0 in the European Super Cup, and they also went on to win the Champions League once again as well, beating Real Madrid 1-0 in the final. With Correa scoring the most goals, Stendera and Nkudu getting the most assists, and Navas keeping the most clean sheets. Whilst an English team won the Europa League for the fourth time in five seasons, as Everton beat Villarreal 2-0 in the final. Where Ross Barkley scored the most goals, Felipe Anderson provided the most assists, and Ruffier kept the most clean sheets. So I'll finish off the video there. Please do leave me suggestions in the comments section down below as to what teams you want me to do videos like this on in the future. And of course, don't forget to vote in the poll in the right hand corner of your screen as to what team I do next. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.